Give yourself permission to be ecstatic, to be excited, to be in a state where you realize that the only place to go is more expansive, more of yourself, more of your joy, more of your bliss, more of your worthiness, more of your love, more of your connection to yourself. No matter what you do, whether negative, positive, understood or not understood, it's all in service of your expansion and it's happening. It's happening to all of you. And there's no stopping it. You can hit plateaus, but it's not stopping. Even when you think you want to stop or have a break, it won't let you, per se, have a break. So sometimes be gentle with yourself, but at all times give yourself permission to be yourself, to enjoy, to desire whatever it is you desire with integrity, with respect. But nevertheless, give yourself full permission to be whatever resonates, whatever impulse you get, because when you're allowing yourself to dance on these waves of authenticity, these waves of listening to yourself and maneuvering through your inner experiences in whatever way, shape, or form feels the most effortless, the most beautiful, the most gracious, the most loving toward yourself in the first place. Don't mind too many others at this time. That will come again. This is a time for self. This is a time of looking at yourself, not looking at other people. Not even necessarily in that sense, in the traditional sense, worrying about other people or looking after other people in the concerned way. Don't be too concerned for other people. Just don't worry about other people. Just be with yourself. Look at yourself. Take this opportunity for yourself, almost in a selfish way, but it's a holistically selfish way that allows you to come out at the other end of this transformational period in a way that actually suits you, that actually works for you, that actually benefits you, and with that, benefits everybody around you. So give yourself permission to be you, and it's joyful to be you. Whenever you experience joy, it's because you're being yourself. It's because you're being natural, you're being authentic, you're being the impulse of your heart whenever you feel out of joy. It's because, not necessarily because it's bad or because you're doing something wrong, it's because a belief may be surfacing. You may be believing in something that just doesn't work anymore and it's being purged out. So be gentle, be loving, be in joy as much as you can, not as a struggle, just as a choice. What do I enjoy being or doing most right now? What would nourish myself the most? What would be most loving, most blissful right now? can be very peaceful, it can be very passionate, whether that's reading a book, starting a new career, sitting down in meditation and thinking of nothing, coming to this meeting, leaving this meeting, whatever is most enjoyable or exciting, whatever resonates, learn to listen to that only connection you have to authenticity, to authority. You only have one connection to authority. There's no other connection to authority than what resonates right now, what feels wholly good. Not just like, oh, I want this so that I don't have to feel my pains. Not avoidance. Not like, oh, I like that because if I have more of that, I'll feel safer. No, in a sense, it's a bolder sense of freedom, a bolder sense of resonance, where it's actually expansive and opening up and less exclusive. It's more inclusive of all the things that come up within yourself and within your experience of life. But nevertheless, you have that navigational sort of tool, that compass, that impulse, which we sometimes call listen to your heart. And it really is your only link to something that's truly not of this world, that's truly not made by mankind. Something that's truly unconditioned and that can truly perceive, even if you don't, beyond time, beyond space, beyond circumstance, beyond what we think is important and unimportant. So your only link to true authenticity is whatever resonates. That's the only freshness that we have access to. But it can become your whole being. So everything can become fresh. It's not like, oh, there's just this tiny part of your being that will be fresh for the rest of your life. No, allow that tiny point of information to become all of your life. Allow the only thing in life that is truly an authority, truly has wisdom, that's truly authentic, to become all of your consciousness, so that your entire being becomes spontaneous, authentic, and its own authority, its own wisdom, its own guru, if you will. Learn to relax. 
your ideas, your opinions, whatever you've been taught, whether by the system or whether by spiritual teachings and teachers or whether by me. Relax all that and learn to listen to your only link to authenticity. You're the only authority in your life. And you develop that. You open that up through listening, through being receptive to what resonates, what makes you feel the deepest amount of peace or bliss or ecstasy or excitement or joy or passion, freedom. Whatever feeling is not just an opposing feeling, but a holistically good feeling, like it just feels good, it resonates with your whole being. Your whole being says yes, even if your mind says, well, it's a little bit scary, but your whole being says yes. Oh, but that's not what he said. But your whole being says yes. Oh, but that's not what she said. But your whole being says yes. Learn to listen to that beingness. Not to whatever your mind comes up with, even if your mind is now completely spiritual. Even then, disregard it when it comes to guiding your life force, guiding your passion. Listen only to the freshness of what resonates right now, free from past, future, free from past experiences and future fears. Just now, listen, now, now, vividly, alively, listen, what resonates, what excites you, what makes you feel in love, alive, free, at peace, expansive in joy, in communion with all that is. It's your only link to authority. Nobody else has any authority. Nobody else has any authority over you. Not even your own mind, because your mind is just a product of other beings. Listen to the freshness of now. Listen to your heartbeat. Ride the waves as they feel most natural to ride. Because you're going to end up at the shore anyway, at your shore. Whichever shore that is, or however long that takes, or how much of a struggle that is, depends on how much you enjoy serving the crest of the wave, and how much you like tumbling and struggling, and listening to other people, and being afraid of standing out in a negative way, being afraid of being ridiculed, being afraid what will happen if you don't listen. That's another way you can do that. If you like to tumble and hit your head on a coral reed, that's good. Enjoy yourself. Equally valid. And you'll get wherever you need to be. You always are wherever you need to be. But speaking from experience, it just becomes so much more enjoyable, incredibly fun and loving and a beneficial experience if you learn to ride the wave, which is nothing other than learn to listen to yourself and prioritize only that authenticity, that resonance. That impulse which doesn't perceive in terms of time. It's spontaneous. Every moment it instructs you something else. It's not a static thing. It's not, oh, I want to become a lawyer when I grow up. No, it's now. What do you want to do and be now? What do you feel you resonate with now? That's why it's the only authority, because time is falling apart. So if you're holding on to the authority of time, you're falling apart as well. That will be the experience. But if you're holding on only to the freshness, the spontaneity, the non-linearity of what you're instructed right now, You'll be riding that wave, where everything else seems to fall apart. But you can enjoy the show because nothing is hitting you. The only time when you're deviating, of course, into the rubble is when you get scared, when you get a little bit afraid. That's when you fall off your board. When people surf for the first time, they're much better than they think they are. And they do good, and then they go, oh, oh, no, 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 and then they fall off their board. Don't be afraid. You have all that you need to know. You are all that you need to be. You have endless resources within yourself. Be confident, be bold, be fearless. Ride that wave in your own way. And it will be an enjoyable experience. It may not always be smooth. After all, you're surfing. But it will be fun. It will be enjoyable and it will be an experience that's representative of your joy, of your heartfelt connection to source, to self, to freedom, to bliss. And you deserve that. You all deserve that, regardless of what you've been told. You deserve an endless, infinite, infinite amount of self-love. Infinite, overspilling amount of self-love. Just keeps on giving, keeps on going. Thank you.